Okay, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to change the APN settings. That's the access point network settings so that you can connect to the AT&T 3G and 4G network in the United States on your iPhone and on your iPad. Now, this tutorial works for both iPhone and iPad. I happen to be doing it on my iPhone. Now, what you need to do is you need to open up the Safari web browser and you need to go to the website www.unlockit.co.nz unlockit.co.nz so we'll go to that website and what it does is it lets you change the APN settings in your phone it downloads a little file onto your phone which changes them to connect to the AT&T network and then when you get back to Australia, you just delete the file. So we go to the website, as we can see here, down the bottom where it says Create APN. We'll touch that. From the country list, we are going to choose the United States, which is right down the very bottom. We keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. There's the United States. We'll select the United States. From the carrier list, we are going to choose AT&T PAYG i.e. pay as you go prepaid and we'll click OK we'll tap create APN it's going to open up a new window which uh, actually downloads the APN settings so we're going to tap install confirm install now and the profile is installed now you do have to realize that when you download this APN setting for AT&T, it's going to stop you being able to access your data in Australia, i.e. your data on the Telstra network, the Vodafone or Optus network, etc. So the best thing to do here is to download the APN setting perhaps at the airport in Australia just as you're about to get on the aeroplane and then put in your AT&T SIM card. Or alternatively, you can wait until you get to the USA and download this uh, APN setting when you're connected to Wi-Fi at the airport or at your hotel. And that's all that needs to be done. One thing further that you need to remember to do is you just need to delete the APN setting when you get back to Australia. And you do that by going into settings, as you can see here, scrolling down, actually scrolling up, into general. So yeah, so we go into general, into the profile here, and we press remove. And that's going to delete that APN setting, and it means you're going to be able to connect again to your Australian network. So I hope that makes sense.